In this video, we're gonna talk about the crown jewel of class field theory, namely, Artin reciprocity. We call that Takagi was able to show that every finite abelian extension of a given number field k is a class field of some ideal group of k. Moreover, for a given abelian extension L of k, its Galois group over k is just gonna be isomorphic to the generalized ideal class group corresponding to the ideal group corresponding to it. However, as we have mentioned, Takagi wasn't able to give an explicit map for this isomorphism. This explicit description was later established by Emil Artin. It is given by the so-called Artin map, which sends every prime p to the Frobenius p map. We will define this in a moment, but first we want to talk about how Artin might have come up with this isomorphism. Now the inspiration could be traced back to L functions. As we have previously mentioned, in generalizing Dirichlet's theorem for prime in arithmetic progression, Weber has generalized Dirichlet's L function and defined the notion of Weber L function. Whereas Dirichlet's L functions are for character chi on Z mod and Z star, Weber's L functions are defined for character chi on some generalized ideal class group. Now, Whereas Dirichlet's L function is a product over rational primes that do not divide n, Weber's L function is a product over prime ideal not dividing the modulus m. Moreover, whereas the denominator in Dirichlet's L functions are product of the primes themselves, the denominators in Weber's L functions are products of the norm of the prime ideals. Now, Weber's L function is a true generalization of Dirichlet's L function because this ideal class group can be realized of Z mod MZ star. Now, so that is Weber's L function. Artin also has an L function. His interest in this comes from his attempt to answer the question of whether zeta k would divide zeta L if k is a subfield of L. Or, to be more precise, if k is a subfield of L, does it mean that the quotient of zeta L over zeta k is entire? Now, in 1915, Hecke already showed the zeta function of every number field is analytic on the complex plane except for a simple pole at s equal to 1. Therefore, we know at least that this quotient is gonna be meromorphic. Thus, the obstruction to this quotient being entire are the zeros of zeta k that are not cancelled out by the zeros of zeta l. Now, in the special case when l over k is a billion though, then we immediately know that this quotient must be entire. The reason is because we can write this quotient as a product of Weber's l function for non-trivial characters. And such l functions are always gonna be entire. Artin wants to generalize this to the case when L over K is not abelian. For that, he would need some new L functions. Thus, he come up with a new definition of L function for representation of the color group instead of characters on the generalized ideal class group. Note that if L over K is abelian, then every such representation must have target being C star because no other general linear group are abelian. Thus, Gala representation of an abelian extension just correspond to characters on the Gala group. And in that case, the definition of the Artin L function becomes the following. Let us compare that with Weber's L function. Observe that instead of chi of prime ideal p, here, in Artin's L function, we have the term chi 
by a Frobenius P. So the situation now is that we have two types of L function. One is for characters on generalized ideal class group, and the other is for character on the Gower group of L over K. Thus, Artin asks if there is a way to give an explicit isomorphism between this group under which the two L functions will be identified. Well, the clue comes when we compare these two L functions. As we've mentioned, whereas in Weber's L function, we evaluate these characters at primes p, in Artin's L functions, we are evaluating these characters at Frobenius p. This suggests that the way to link this generalized ideal class group to the color group is via sending every prime p to the Frobenius p map. And that's indeed the definition of the Artin map. Observe though that the Frobenius p element are only defined for unramified prime p's. Thus, we need to pick this modulus m to be divisible by all k primes that ramify in L. For such a modulus m, all the prime p in this domain here are unramified in L, and therefore there is a well-defined Frobenius element p. Now, when m is an admissible modulus, then this map induces an isomorphism between the generalized ideal class group corresponding to m with the Galois group of L over k. This theorem is called Artin reciprocity. And yes, it's the same reciprocity as in quadratic reciprocity. And in the next video, we're gonna show how Artin reciprocity implies quadratic reciprocity.